For today's segment, we're talking a little bit about pest control with field market development specialist with Valent USA, Todd Berkdahl. And our conversation will focus primarily on Lepidopteran pests. But uh, before we get into that, um, now that Bloom is here, uh, Todd, well, let's just first get an update on how trees are looking and uh, just kind of get an overview of um, how Bloom is progressing. Well, I'm seeing uh, a lot of blocks that were not irrigated are still coming, the Bloom's still coming on. But blocks that were irrigated uh, midwinter here after the rain events in December, say in January, those blocks are... 80, 90, 100% bloom at this point. And it's coming on fast because I looked at them on Friday and a lot of blocks were 25 to 30%. And today I look at them and they're 90 plus percent. So uh, depending on the variety, certain varieties are still behind a little bit, but for the most part, we're well into bloom at this point, which is a little bit early and it's come on really fast. So it's uh, what we call a flash bloom, I guess. Well, very good. And uh, with uh, with Bloom here, the conversation is uh, very often on uh, beneficial insects, most namely bees. But uh, it's also a time where you're looking out for problematic insects. And that's where um, Dipel kind of comes in and plays a role in helping fight off the uh, insects that you don't want, but won't really have an impact on the beneficial insects that you do want. Right. Yes, correct, Brian. Right. Dipel's uh, Bacillus thuringiensis. Uh, Chris Stocky is the strain of it, and it's a it's very specific strain to the dipel. And it's safe, completely safe for anything but Lepidopteran larva. What happens is the larva have to ingest the product. It's basically a cryotoxin complex of four different cryotoxins, which are created by the bacteria. And those bacteria, you know, in the powdered form, it's a soluble a powder or granule soluble, goes into suspension. And when you put it in a tank, you spray it out on the trees. Those cryotoxins are uh, ingested by the Lepidopteran larva. At this point in time, primarily would be peach twig borer. And then later on, we'll get into navel orange worm as the season progresses, the heat units increase. But right now, I would be watching after petal fall, right after petal fall on these almonds for peach twig borer. And Dipel, again, is very, very safe. You want to spray it when the pests are present because they have to ingest it. But it's safe on beneficials, period. It doesn't affect bees at all. And the effect on getting the product out there, the biggest thing on Dipel is coverage because it is a contact. The, the larvae have to ingest it. So as they start to chew on a leaf or a shoot, you know, newly emerging uh, leaves coming out, or in the case of PT Wee, where they're actually boring into the twig. That's why they call it peach twig borer, because it bores into the stem. Those, uh, as they bore in, they eat it, and they, they don't make it grass first base. They basically stop feeding, and then they die. The crowd toxins uh, rupture their, their gut and their, their stomach, the wall, the inner la layer of their insect's gut, and causes leakage, and then it's like, you know, it's like a big bad ulcer all at once. It goes south really fast. Stop feeding and, and die within about two to three days after it just. And now uh, there has been a kind of a development. It might not necessarily uh, be news here because it's, it's kind of been shown to do this, but uh, something's kind of being made official now with uh, as it relates to how it impacts navel orange worm as well. Yeah, well, I mean, Dipel formulation, the Kirstaki strain that we use, creates very four specific cryotoxins. And depending on lepidopteran pests, the uh, level of sensitivity or susceptibility to those various toxins is varied. Some are more sensitive to one toxin or toxins than another. But it's basically a shotgun, okay? Dipel is a shotgun for lepidopteran pests. And it has activity on navel orange worm. We've never really promoted it for that because it's later season. There's always other pests out there, and they have to ingest it. But early season applications for navel orange worm or even later season applications for navel orange Dipel is very effective. It's just that it doesn't last very long. Three to five days, you know, he starts degrading and photodegrades in the field. So you, you have to put it on maybe more frequently if you have multiple flights of insects, flights of moths, you know, flying around laying eggs. But as soon as they hatch, they eat it. Two or three days afterwards, they die. It's a matter of getting them to eat before they get into the, the nut or eating a portion. There again, coverage is essential because they have to eat to get in, right? They have to open the door to get in. And by opening that door, they're ingesting. If the dipel's there, they ingest it and they die. So it's a good soft way to uh, very specifically control uh, lepidopteran pests. Navel orange worm, like I said, navel orange worm, peach twig, bori, or oriental fruit moth, omnivorous leaf, all of them. It's very effective. 
coverage is the key to making it work.